Hello, today we're going to be doing a demonstration on replacing one of these solid state uh, output chips on your BooBox Flex or BooBox 8. Um, sometimes what can happen is if the, the outputs get shorted out uh, by mistake or sometimes if these pins on the bottom get shorted or uh, if there's a wiring mistake uh, the uh, chip inside the unit can actually blow and sometimes that will leave all your lights on or sometimes they won't come on at all it can uh, fail in various ways so today we're going to actually force one to fail by shorting it out and then replace it and get the unit working again so let's power the unit up here so normally what happens we hit the button here and the unit will go through its sequence of making the, uh, the lights go on so I'm going to short out output 4 with a set of tweezers here to simulate a failure and then I'm going to run this again and uh, we'll see if we can make some smoke happen here. Oh, there we go. So the unit has, the chip has actually failed now. You can see one of the lights is stuck on. The controller's not actually telling that light to go on. It's just the chip is fried and that is uh, just permanently on. So this chip is now garbage. So we're going to replace that chip. So we're going to power down the unit and we're going to remove the screws from the bottom. So there's two screws here and two screws here that I've already removed. And you can just pull the cover off. Normally what you do is use a chip puller like this to pull the chip out, but most people won't have one of those handy. So I'll do it with a uh, standard screwdriver. Okay, so you just take your screwdriver and wedge it in between the chip and the socket and kind of twist a little bit. Rotate it around and do the same on the other side. Just keep going back and forth until the chip pops out. There we go. That's out. Now we're going to get the new chip and I don't know if you can see it on the camera but the chip the legs are actually a little bit out like that. They're not straight, so it's kind of hard to get them in the socket if you don't bend them first. So what I usually do is grab the chip firmly in your hands, place it against the table, and rock it a little bit forward. Do the same thing on the other side. And what that does is it actually makes the legs straight now. So now I'll insert uh, easily into the unit. The thing to watch when you're replacing the chip now is there's a notch on one side of the chip that notch has to line up with the notch in the socket. So make sure that goes the right way, otherwise it's not going to work. So now we just get the chip in place, make sure all the pins are lined up with the socket before you kind of snugly push it in there. That's it. Uh, I guess we'll test it before we put our cover back on. So we power it up. You can see the output lights are no longer stuck on. And everything's back to normal. So that's it. You uh, same process for your BooBox 8, and uh, put your cover back on, seal it up, and you're good to go.